we could not disassociate Shatima from terrorist King Ping. Kabiru Sokoto Chibok Girls Abduction, PDP. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Eight years after the abduction of teenagers from the government girls secondary school in Chibok, Borno State, by the Islamic terrorist group Boko Haram, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, said it could not disassociate Senior Kash Senator Kasim Shetima from the event. Recalls that Shetima, news recalled that Shetima was the incumbent governor when the terrorists attacked Chibok at night in April 2013 and reached away 276 students, mostly Christian female students. The People Democratic Party on Sunday flashed back to the event in reaction to Shijima's speech at the just concluded National Conference of the Nigerian Bar Association, NBA, where he said his principal presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, will handle Nigeria's economy while he, Shijima, will take care of the nation's security. Making new friends to the statement while appearing on Politics Today, a channel television program on Sunday, PDP head of digital Antonio Ehilabo said, owing to the antecedent, Nigeria cannot let Shetima be in charge of its security. Shetima, who is the running mate to the All Progressive Congress presidential flag bearer, spoke confidently about tackling the nation's security challenges at the NBA. Ihilabo, however, said, how come you come to the, uh, the Nigerian Bar Association NBA program and announce on live television that you will take care of security and your principal will handle the economy? Section 132 of the 1999 Constitution specifies that it is the role of the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, and if it decides to let get the power, it must be the Armed, to the armed Forces. But here we have a vice presidential candidate telling the world he wants to be in charge of our security. This is the same man in charge when the issue of Chibok girls happened. This is the same man in charge when the issue of Chibok girls happened. Shetima ignored the directive to move the students and the terrorists took advantage. Digging further into the past, a Hilab will recall that a suspected terrorist, Kabiru Sukoto, was arrested years ago in the Brown State Governor's Lodge by the operatives of the Department of State Services, DSS. He said, today we have not been able to disassociate him from all that. Unfortunately, Nigerians are more interested in his sneakers and what he wore to the Nigerian Bar Association than the statement. However, in his defense of Shitima on the same program, a political economist and member of the All Progressive Congress Presidential Campaign Organization, Ayo Oyalowo, said Shitima's speech was blown out of contest. Now, it is not in, in Nigeria here, all other past presidents, they had to go out delegating duties. And I don't think we have ever had a time where the delegated duties and so delegated to the VP that he was going to be in charge of the, you know, the armed forces. It doesn't make sense to me. It does not make sense to me one bit. It doesn't actually make sense. Apart from that, they've gone a lot of um, presidents, as in those who are in charge of position, they hardly delegate powers to the deputies, whether I like it or not. It takes a man who wants to cover more ground, and he also is also trusting that his vice would do the things the way he would want it to be done. Yes, all right. The number of votes APC will have in 2023 election will tell us the number of mad, insane, and senseless people in Nigeria. Uh, like I would say, oh, no matter how it's pain, no matter how it's hot, you know, it is, it is, how am I going to put it? No matter how it pains, no matter how hot, people will still vote for whoever they want to vote. That is the beauty of democracy. That is the beauty of democracy. Well, just like the writer said here, within this writer, they talk, we say, people left the main issue. Even me, I was even so specific about how Tunumbu is already delegating duties to his running mate. I was already thinking about how is it that Tunumbu, we are not giving, you know, nobody has given him the mandate yet. They never do elections, you know. They don't already they carry body like, say, they don't win election. They don't do the election finish, you know, and all that. Why is it that he's going to be delegating duty to Shetima? Why no come? 
And I was asking all this question because number one, Tunibu's house is Lagos. Now Lagos, not Tunibu house. In fact, from where that they do the NBA conference, you know, we feel it's not Tunibu window. Now they go the front window. They even hear noise. They even hear we send the talk. So why was not he not in attendance? First of all, then some people, somebody is coming out to say, okay, we are even saying that. Oh, why is not in attendance? Look at what he even said. You know, you are here even talking about why Tunibu would look at what Chetima said that he was going to be in charge of insecurity. Meanwhile, the person who won't be in charge of insecurity, he has not been able to exonerate himself or exonerate him from the charges that has been built against him for such a very long time now. This, should I call it charges? At least accusations. People are saying that, oh, during his tenure, you know, the kidnap of Chiba girls happened. And we all know today that we never even see here whether all the Chiba girls, they run their freak. We never hear that story. We never hear until date. All right. Niger should open their uh, open and shine as well, though. Imagine if the all progressive government win, Congress wins, and Tenembe is cunningly freezed out like Abiola Shitima will take over. Then the recurring of Chibo girls have kidnapping all over Nigeria. God, please lead us right. And we, we need to vote rightly as well. We need to vote rightly as well. He worked for them by adopting the Chibo girls, which they use against Gulo Jonathan now, is compensation. Truly, he was compensated with VP position for his contribution and job well done. In Chibon girls, in Chibon girls, adoption. All right, well, if you ask me at the end of the day, this particular issue, or should I say this particular matter, it be as it gets, it be as it gets, sincerely. You know, the straightforward. So, if Terembu, if your robust leave sentiment aside and take a closer look at statement and body language of these people, they will not vote for Terembu because you'll be killed within months. How can VP candidate has the audacity to say the one he'll be the one to handle security? Tremble will be the useless prophet. Puppet. Avoid the APC. Well, um let me let me don't let me just say it. Like I said sincerely, when I heard that um Tetima was the one representing Tremba was like, Okay, what exactly is Tremba? What was he doing? You know, I did been this thing happened in London. So okay, I can't be traveling. But this one happened in his backyard in Lagos State. All right. The DSF should have taken Shetima into custody, having arrested the suspected terrorist in the Bruno State Governor's Lodge. Definitely, he was private to the abduction of the Chibos girls. Only in Nigeria, the terrorist sponsors will be seen as leaders and real models, while innocent people are murdered every day by their foot soldiers. All right. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. And so I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.